Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Galaxy Trucker Extended Edition. This is a digital adaptation of a board game, a board game that I admittedly do not own. You can find this on Steam for roughly 10 bucks, should you wish to pick it up for yourself. I have played off camera for the last half an hour, getting my feet wet, and based on my experience, you're going to be putting together a ship by drafting tiles from a central pool, and... After you're done doing that, you and your opponents are going to go off on some adventures. These adventures are in the form of a deck of cards, and you flip them over one by one. And how well you deal with these adventures and how well your ship is put together will determine how many victory points you get at the end of the game. That's an oversimplification, but that's the gist of it. This digital adaptation includes a campaign, a custom game, tutorial, there's alien technologies, which is sort of like an advanced variant, multiplayer, and then there's some other buttons here like online accounts, profiles, achievements, stats, credits, rules, all that jazz. There is a settings menu as well, sound, music, full screen toggle, that jazz. Okay, let's go ahead and play a custom game. There's real-time and turn-based. Now, these two modes are going to be very different. Whenever you're creating your ship in real-time mode, you're drafting in real-time from a central pool. Basically, it's a dexterity game. You pull a tile from the center, you drag it over to your ship, you reveal the tile, and then you try and place it. You have the option to put it back into the central pool should you not want to uh, put it down. But if you put a tile down, you rotate it, and the second you grab another tile from the center, and then reveal that, the other one is welded into place and cannot be moved ever again. The turn-based game, which I have not done, but I've read up on it, you have, I think it was 10 action points every turn, and you get to look at the cards in the adventure deck by spending action points. You get to place tiles, rotate tiles, and all that jazz. So if you want a more strategic, tactical, ship-building experience, turn-based is what you want. Uh, if you want something a bit more hectic and casual, then real-time might be the way to go. Now, I've not played turn-based, as I mentioned, so I'm just going to do real-time game. There's also classic and alien technologies. Again, alien technologies in include some advanced things that I'm just not ready for yet, but you can explore on your own. There's different flights, um, basically different decks of adventures, and then you can choose between different bots. There's uh, Basic Bot, Maximatter, Robbie the Trucker, uh, crochet T and random easy pot. And then you can choose between those personalities. And then there's easy, standard, and tough. So in addition to easy, medium, difficult, there's different personalities uh, that you can choose between. I'm just going to go ahead and just do a random easy bot and we'll leave it at that. And let's. Okay, so because this is playing in real time, I've got to be very quick. I'll try and explain as I go. Um, these batteries are important because they power double-barreled engines and double-barreled weapons. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. Engines cannot be placed in such a way to where there's something behind them, and weapons cannot be placed in such a way to where there's something in front of them. Uh, so I would not want to put this here because then nothing can go here. Note that each of these have different connectors, so you have to observe that. Um, ugh. All right, that's pretty good there. Put that. No, I don't like that. It's facing the outside. I, actually, I can rotate that. There we go. The purple and orange habitat things are for aliens. Uh, the circular ones here are for humans. Um, and these brown and purple ones are for aliens. They can be spent on various events to... Um, they can be spent on various events to complete certain... Um, adventures as they come up. Okay, so this one... Put... Yeah, I don't like that. I want a double-barreled one if I can get away with it. There we go. There's one. I'm gonna want a couple more if I can swing it. Weapons facing the outside, like to the left, right, or down, have less power. So you don't want to do that. All right, this is a shield here. Put that there. Shields can be activated with batteries. 
I don't like that. Cargo containers uh, hold cargo. Everything except for red cargo. Let's put that there. Red cargo is hazardous and needs a special container. It's somewhere in here. Um, I could put... Hmm. I could put that here. Can I rotate it? Yeah, let's do that. And can I put a double-barreled one in the front? I don't see a double-barreled one here. This is maddening. I could do something like that. <sighs> Cargo. No, I want, I need engines. All right, engine there. Batteries, need more batteries. All right, these aren't facing the right way, but I might have to deal with it. See, this is okay. However, if a meteor hits the right side here, it'll get blown up. So I gotta be careful of that. And it's RNG. Dice are a rule to determine that. Ugh. Um... I need more crew slots, so I guess we'll put that here. And so we'll put that there. Lots of things facing the outside making me nervous right now. If I'm the first one done, then I get to be in the front of the pack when it's all said and done. That means I get first dibs on planets and some adventures that come up. I also, if at the end of the game, if I'm in front, I get more points than he does in that category. There's a weapon there that faces front. He's almost done, so I want to hurry. More batteries, excellent. Give me more batteries. All right, good enough. One... Okay. So in this, okay, one thing I neglected to put on here was a red cargo container for any hazard or for hazardous cargo that might pop up. And I've only got three cargo slots. So I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of points that way at the end of the game. Looks like he's got a lot more than I do. Lots of weapons too, but not a whole lot of batteries. That could work against him depending on what comes up in the deck. This is his ship here. He's only got three batteries and he's got two weapons that require batteries to operate. So if a lot of nasty things come up, he may find himself out of power to do much of anything. Okay, Meteor Swarm. Dicer roll to determine what column they fall into and what row they fall into. Luckily, nothing happened there. Okay, no exposed conduits. So the asteroids or the meteors just simply bounce off. Had that hit an exposed conduit, that part would have exploded. Open space. So this allows us to use um, batteries to pull ahead of our opponent. I've got a lot of batteries, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to spend these first because they are exposed to th these connectors are exposed to space. I'd rather spend that energy first. So we'll spend all four. We'll get out. We'll jump far ahead here. Okay, so now we're three triangles or three steps ahead of our opponent. More open space. Now, it's possible that the cards that you see in one game will not be the same cards that you see in a following game. Do I want to keep doing this? Maybe. Now I'm very far ahead. Abandoned station. So I can, according to this, if you have seven or more crew members, you can send them to explore the abandoned station and collect cargo. If you do, you will move one step backward. You will not lose crew members on this adventure. Uh, some adventures will make you lose people, so you have to watch for that. Um, as you can see here, red cargo is four cents. I cannot carry red cargo. I don't have the appropriate module for that, but I can do yellow, green, and blue. Uh, because I'm in front, I get to do this if I want. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I've got at least seven cargo or seven people, seven crew members. 
And because I got first dibs, he does not get to do that event. So I'm going to place these there. Now I'm out of cargo space. That's all I can carry for the rest of this game. I like this because every game your ship is going to be slightly different. Epidemic. Well, that can't be good. I, lo I lose crew members. Ugh. Okay, now this stinks for me because I have no more room. More than likely he's going to go down to this first planet here. No, but going down to a planet makes you lose two steps as well. So I'll be very far ahead of him. Um, we'll go ahead and just pass. There's not, I can't fit anything, so it's not going to matter. All right, so it looks like you got some greens and blues. Abandoned ship. Okay, so I can lose four crew members, which... Two, three, four. And I get five cents if I do... Okay, I have no crew members left. Oh. Must give up on the flight. No, apparently not. Okay, so I do not want to... Okay, I don't have enough then. All right, so we'll pass. And he doesn't have enough either, so... Last adventure card, more meteor swarms. Alright, so that entered a column, no one was in, finished the flight. We're going to play another game because you didn't get to see all the cards that were here. Okay, so I barely won 11 to 10. Uh, so we'll do one more. This time I won't talk as much, I promise. Uh, put that there... Hmm. Oh, nice. <sighs> Lots of red cargo coming up here. I wouldn't mind some batteries. All right, there's cargo. Put that... No, see, I don't like that there. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna reserve it. I kind of like that. Okay. Um, engines. Uh, double-barreled engine? Oof. No. We're having a crappy time with this one. I prefer them to, to go forward facing here, but sometimes you just don't have a choice. All right, batteries definitely need that. Need engines. Um, I'm, I guess beggars can't be choosers at this point. Okay, that works. I'll put a shield down, why not? Still want more batteries. Speaking of which... Put that there, excellent. Uh, Carg, fine. Put that, I hate it, I hate that it's facing the outside like that, I really do. Put that there. All right, more crew members there. That's six. I'm thinking more engines, if we can swing it. We've 
got six battery. Okay, so we're gonna see uh, so we're gonna be seeing some red and some smugglers. So we're gonna need maybe more weapon power. Um, maybe I might want to add possibly more weapons. What's in this one? Abandoned station. Okay, six crew members. We have that open space and abandoned station. Okay, so. We just need cargo and uh, weapons. I'd... I'll put that there. I think he took all the red contain- Ah, oh, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit either. Good luck finding something that fits in that slot. That does, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Now yeah, we'll roll with it. Open space. Not a whole lot of engines here. So I've got two engine power. I don't have to activate my engines because they're all single barreled. No batteries needed. Next. Okay, so we're heading to these planets. Again, I don't... I've got two of the red there. I, I just... I realized that I do have two red. All right, so I get first dibs on these because I am ahead. I want to go ahead and choose the first planet that has two red on it. All right, now, it looks like he neglected to go and pick up cargo, so he is now ahead of me. Okay, so, abandoned ship. Um, I guess I'll lose two. I get three cents from that. Which are basically victory points. Next is open space. Again, I've got two. He's got two. The upside to me is that I don't have to power mine. He does. Six abandoned station. Now, I was tempted to wait for this card, but at the same time... I don't have any more red. So, yeah, we're, we're going to pass on that. I couldn't do it anyway because I've only got six. All right, next one, smugglers. So I lose three cargo if I don't have, what is it, four? Oh, I see. If you have a strength less than four, the smugglers defeat you and steal three most valuable goods. Uh, if, they run, if you run out of goods, they steal your batteries. If you have a strength exactly of four, you fight them off. You get no rewards or penalties. If you have strength greater than four, you defeat the smugglers and earn a reward. Okay, so it looks like my opponent got first dibs of that because he was ahead of me. All right, next up, Meteor Swarm. Here's hoping. Um, so there is going to be a Meteor hitting the forward lane here on the 8th, so I need to power my weapon. And we're good. Dice are being rolled. That's a miss. It's a bounce. Last one. Okay, another abandoned station. Neither of us, I don't think, can do this because we don't have enough crew members. He might actually win this because he's ahead of me, but we'll see how it works out. I do have those two red crates. Now, it looks like he won this one. Oh, no, I got it. Nice. Yeah, those crates definitely pushed me over. I also got those three victory points from that one event. 
Now keep in mind, I can extend the length of the game by adding multiple flights. So uh, if you don't like how short that was, you can add more. Um, you can also go from real time to turn based, which adds action points. So um, experiment at your own leisure. But I got to say, as someone that is new to this game, I'm having a great time with it so far. Almost makes me want to buy the actual tabletop game. Almost. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.